So far, the compound inequalities that we've seen have all been in the simplest possible form. They've all just been in the form variable compared to a number. What if we have a compound inequality that we need to solve? Say we want to solve this inequality. 3x minus 1 is less than 5, and negative 2x plus 3 is less than 11. How would we go about solving this? It actually turns out that it's pretty simple. First, we'll solve each of the component inequalities separately. So we'll solve this inequality. 3x minus 1 is less than 5. We'll add 1 to both sides. 3x is less than 6. We'll divide both sides by 3 and we get x is less than 2. Next, we'll solve this inequality. Negative 2x plus 3 is less than 11. Subtract 3 from both sides. Negative 2x is less than 8. Divide both sides by negative 2, and we get x is greater than negative 4. Remember, when we divide both sides by a negative number, we have to reverse the inequality. The next step is super easy, but we can't leave it out. We write the word and in this case because we started with an and, or the word or if we started with an or between the solutions. So we would write x is less than 2 and x is greater than negative 4. And then our last step is to sketch the inequality to make sure that we need both of them. That is, to make sure that we're not in one of those situations where we can throw away one of the inequalities, or where everything is a solution or nothing is a solution. In this case, so here's negative 4, here's 2, here's x is less than 2, here's x is greater than negative 4. The word is and, so we want the points that are on both. Here's my solution. So I really do need both of them. And thus, there's my answer. So solving inequality, so solving compound inequalities really isn't a particularly complicated thing. It's just a matter of knowing what you need to do.